ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट न्यूट्रिशन एंड न्यूट्रिशनल स्टेटस न्यूट्रिशन इज दैट ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द न्यूट्रिशनल प्रोसेस इन द बॉडी दैट इंक्लूड्स कंजम्पन डाइजेशन एब्जॉर्बन एंड एसिमलेशन ऑफ फूड दस वी कम टू नो दैट फंक्शनली न्यूट्रिशन इज फूड एट वर्क न्यूट्रिशन इज द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ दोज एक्टिविटीज बाई विच आ लिविंग बींग गैट्स एंड यूटिलाइज दोज Essential nutrients which are required for various food body activities, growth, development, and regeneration of body tissues. Now, types of nutrition. Nutrition can be divided into two parts: good nutrition and malnutrition. Again, malnutrition is subdivided into two parts: undernutrition and overnutrition. Good nutrition is that state. when a person gets all the nutrients in a correct form and proportion and some nutrients are stored in the body after meeting all the body requirement this is also known as optimum or adequate nutrient nutrition which helps to maintain good health malnutrition malnutrition means an undesirable kind of nutrition Mal malnutrition is that state of ill health which may be caused by the deficiency or excess of one or more essential nutrients in the body improper diet is that is the main cause of malnutrition but sometimes in spite of having good nutrition a particular nutrient is not absorbed in the body which may lead to malnutrition malnutrition include both undernutrition and overnutrition undernutrition is that state of nutrition in which the quality and quantity of food is not sufficient for the body and is deficient in one or more nutrients in such a condition health of a person suffers from many diseases especially deficiency diseases physical and mental growth is also related overnutrition is that state of nutrition in which the intake of nutrients is in excess of body needs quantitatively as well as qualitatively causing adverse effect on the body intake of ex excessive calories causes obesity whereas more intake of other nutrients leads to toxic so toxicity in the body both these conditions are harmful for the health of a person now relationship between food nutrition and health nutrition is a state which leads to good health although health and nutrition are not same still good health is impossible without good nutrition food is an important element of nutrition therefore the kind of food and the way the person consume is important from the nutritional point of view for example by making nutritional changes in the diet a number of disease can be prevented and life span can also be increased does nutrition makes a difference to our health yes it does we can find people suffering from health problems because of poor nutrition If a person eats and right kind of food in the required amount he or she will keep good health provided no other factors intervenes some people eat less than what they need whereas other consume too much both lead to malnutrition many a times you feel tired you may have sores in your mouth your lips may be cracked this may be due to you are getting insufficient food and nutrition good nutrition is essential for the proper growth of the body physical and intellectual and to lead an active life it may even determine how long a person lives nutritional status and calorie intake as a basis of poverty line it is essential to understand the meaning of nutritional status and calorie intake before understanding the poverty line nutritional status 
refers to the state of health of an individual as it is affected by the intake and utilization of nutrients nutritional status can be of high optimum or low category health food and nutritional status are directly interrelated for example good diet good health high nutritional level deficient diet poor health low nutritional status you can understand by this only it is clear from the above example that food plays an important role in raising the level of our health and nutritional status nutritional status of a person can be judged from his body com- composition level of activity and health good nutrition and malnutrition have a great effect on the growth and physical appearance of the body therefore nutritional status can be judged by putting together information about dietary surveys in these surveys daily intake of nutri- nutrients of a person is analyzed and remedies are suggested clinical examination in these examinations the nutritional status or disease condition is determined on the basis of physical symptoms of the body biochemical examination in these examinations nutritional status is determined by blood urine and stool test anthropometric measurements the measurements of head and arm circumference body weight and height is being done and then compared with normal standards calorie intake as a basis of poverty line poverty line is the imaginary line that decides the minimum calorie requirement of human being nutritional status is directly related to poverty line the minimum calorie requirement of 2100 calories and 2400 calories per day has been fixed for people living in urban and rural areas respectively a person getting lesser calories than then then this is considered to be below the poverty line approximately 50% of indian population lives below the poverty line lack of economic resources and ignorance about nutrition are its main causes as a result of malnutrition these people suffer from various diseases they have higher mortality rate and shorter life span malnutrition reduces their work efficiency and thus they remain poor it is a vicious circle therefore nutritional status keeps on declining resulting in increased poverty as a result these people keep on moving down the poverty line